Just a few minutes is all it takes to make the simple tea that will help to unclog your arteries and prevent and reduce your risk of having a cardiovascular accident. Hello, my beautiful and healthy people, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be making a tea that helps to lower your cholesterol levels naturally. Before I get started with today's recipe, please don't forget to hit the like button and also kindly share with anyone and everyone you know that this will benefit. Today's recipe is another simple recipe and it shouldn't take more than five minutes to make. So if you're diabetic or you have high cholesterol or you have high blood pressure, then today's recipe is for you. Of course, today's recipe is also for anyone and everyone who doesn't want to wait till they get bad cholesterol levels. So yes, today's recipe is for everyone. So right now, I'm about to observe my 10 minute garlic roll. <laughs> and I'm sure you're wondering, what is that? So basically, to activate allicin, allicin is the active ingredient or active enzyme in garlic. So raw garlic has to be chewed, crushed or sliced and kept away from heat for at least 10 to 15 minutes. This is because heat inactivates the enzyme. And so you wanna allow the compound to fully develop and fully form before it gets in contact with heat. So basically anytime you use garlic, you wanna do this. You wanna make sure that you either chop it up in little small pieces or you crush it up and you let it sit for about 10 minutes before it gets in contact with heat. The effect of allicin has been studied in coronary heart diseases and has been shown to prevent the formation of blockages in the arteries. It also helps to reduce the amount of soft plaque. Soft plaque is actually more likely to break off and cause blockage, which of course we know can lead to a heart attack. And of course, allicin also helps to reduce the hardening of arteries. So yes, um, this little 10 minute rule is actually quite important because that's how we can ensure that the maximum allicin is created in the tea that we're about to make. Another thing to note is I will not be adding the lemon when I'm boiling all the ingredients. I'm just gonna be adding the lemon at the very end after I have turned off the heat. And this is just to also for the same reason not to deactivate the enzymes in the lemon for the cinnamon stick i am using a ceylon cinnamon stick and no i know some people might be asking if i don't have the cinnamon stick is it okay to use a powder my recommendation will be not to use the powder i would strictly keep cinnamon powder to when you seasoning foods or maybe when you're baking for majority of my recipes you want to use the stick most cinnamon powders come from cashier cinnamon and if that's consumed in large amounts it could easily become toxic to the liver because of the coumarin content so using the ceylon stick is much safer and that applies for pretty much all my recipes. The tea is very effective, so you really don't need to take it for more than seven days straight. But if you have really, really bad cholesterol, I guess you could go 14 days, but no more than 14 days in the month. So make this recipe with me and let's drink it together. Thank you and see you in the next video.